I don't, don't think anybody was more surprised than us. Yeah. <laughs> no, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So with Ben Affleck and JLo recently calling it quits, we think we actually aren't really sure of that, but what? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm sure there might be some of you guys that, you know, want to learn about their relationship, dive into the history without diving into the research itself. I have you covered because I basically am covering the relationship from start to finish in under 10 minutes, which is what I do with my channel. It's essentially like the Spark Notes version of celebrity stuff. If you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. So it all started back in 2001, whenever they met on the set of Geely. At the time, JLo was married to dancer Chris Judd, but things weren't going well for them. And by 2002, JLo and Chris had filed for divorce. Not long after, JLo and Ben started dating and basically all the jaws dropped whenever Ben appeared in the music video, Jenny from the Block, which is a really, really good song, I must say. But anyway, their relationship took off fast. And I mean very, very fast. By November 2002, they were engaged and Ben gave her a massive, massive, massive 6.1, to be exact, pink diamond ring. It was just the most, it was the best day of my life. They were everywhere. All the magazines were covering them left and right, and they even starred in another film together. It came out in 2004 called Jersey Girl. But despite all the buzz around them, the movie itself didn't perform that well at the box office. I guess it takes more than a really popular relationship to make a movie popular. Damn! They planned on getting married in September of 2003, but due to all the media attention, they postponed it. And by January 2004, the engagement was off, and they broke up shortly after that. In February 2024, JLo spoke on why their relationship didn't work the first time, and she essentially just said that they weren't ready to put in the work that it takes to make a marriage work, which would make sense if she didn't go and marry Mark Anthony six months later, but that's a different story. So anyway, they went their separate ways, different relationships, marriages, Ben Affleck married Jennifer Garner, that was that. Fast forward to 2021, and they were back. Benefer, as the media calls them. They are back. They reconnected reportedly through email, and by May, they were spotted together publicly. Nobody else could make me see that about myself. It was a shock, to say the least, because literally just the month before, JLo had broken up with her fiancé, Alex Rodriguez, otherwise known as A-Rod, so it was very surprising that she was already with someone new, but he wasn't new, it was Ben. That was the big shock. But things this time around were different because both of them had kids at this point. But it did seem like they had one big, happy, blended family. Everyone got along great. And apparently, Ben and JLo picked up right where they left off, which made sense because they were just going around everywhere together having a ball. It looked like no time had passed. By that August, Ben was already spotted shopping for engagement rings, which are we even surprised at this point? Hey, I'm not surprised, mother they move fast. They don't know how to go slow, which, hey, whatever, whatever works. And sure enough, they were engaged in 2022. If you thought the last one is expensive, this one is apparently worth up to $10 million. They didn't waste time on their wedding either. They had a really small, intimate ceremony in Vegas in July 2022. And the next month, they had a massive blowout in Georgia. Things seemed to be going well for a little bit, but fans started to notice that there was some tension between them especially with how Ben acted in public. By spring of 2024, rumors started flying. They had gone 47 days without being seen together, which was a really big deal considering how often they were photographed together up until that point. But they were spotted holding hands in New York that March, so that quieted down the rumors for a little bit. But things got confusing again because media reports claimed they were living in separate houses, Ben wasn't wearing his wedding ring, and he didn't even show up to her, her big birthday bash, which was a Bridgerton theme. It was really, looked like a lot of fun, but he wasn't there, which everybody noticed right away. Finally, in August 2024, it seemed official. Ben bought his own house. Jayla was house hunting. And then, of course, as we know, she filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason, and April 26th, 2024, as their official separation date. But honestly, with these two, who knows what's next? Recently, in September, they were spotted holding hands, kissing. I'm hearing different reports that they want to make the marriage work. So maybe they jumped the gun a little bit too quick with filing for divorce. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Will they give it another shot? Or is this the end of Benefer for real? Let me know what you guys think below.